All right, do you accept the governor of Virginia's apology? Not really, no. <laughs> I am not impressed. At first, it sounded um, like, okay, he screwed up, and then you learn more. He's, it was, he was older, and then the information started to get all contradictory. Um, and then, honestly, it got a little busy in the past week or so, so I wasn't sure if there's actually any new developments. Yeah, I sort of do. I kind of figure he did that or didn't do that. So it's just sort of with all that's going on, I think he can do more good than than bad to stay in his position. No. No, I don't think that's an adequate response. I think he should resign. Yeah, so do you think he should resign for his actions? <sighs> yeah. Essentially, pretty much. Since he has so little left to, to do, I think he should at least till the end of his term and then, in the meantime, try to get redemption for what he did. All right. The best way is to stay there. <laughs> Thank you. I, um, to be honest, I think it's for the people of Virginia to decide. I'm not uh, quite as informed as the situation is like to be to really have like my opinion. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. But, okay. But if he was the governor of California, see you later, alligator. Awesome. <laughs> right. Welcome Thanks. to Teens on Topic. I'm your host, Emma Arntzen, and today I'm joined by... Issa Shake, Sam Sheridan. Hi, Shaw. Earlier this month, we dealt with a current event with a certain Virginian governor. So do you want to talk about that, Issa? Yeah, sure. Um, February 1st, so literally early, earlier this month, um, Governor Ralph Northam of Virginia uh, was embroiled in a scandal f following the release of a page of his yearbook in which there was a photo of a man dressed up in full Klansman garb next to a man in blackface. Later that day, Governor Northam released a statement saying that, no, that wasn't me. Uh, no, sorry, he said it was me, and I, I apologize for appearing the way I did um, and then the next day, there was uh, a press, uh, press conference in which he said that, no, that was not me. And I distinctly remember that that was not me wearing blackface for my yearbook because I wore blackface on another instance. Uh, I dressed as Michael Jackson for a dance competition in Houston, and I won uh, because of my moonwalk. This is all from Ralph Northam, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> um, he almost did the moonwalk at his press conference until his wife stopped him. Um, and across the nation, Democratic presidential candidates, uh, Virginia leaders, called for his resignation. Uh, but soon after, this person who would, um, would replace him, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, a promising politician, African-American, uh, was enrolled in his own scandal when accusers of his laid out sexual assault allegations against him. Uh, after this, uh, some of the calls for him to resign hushed a bit. Uh, until a second accuser came out against Lieutenant Governor Fairfax, at which point Attorney General Mark Herring, who would be the third person in line to become governor, uh, publicly stated uh, and apologized for the fact that he had worn blackface in college. Um, so it has been crazy in Virginia. Yeah, I, I can't believe that this is something happening in 2019, especially since it was like, it was the 1980s, it was wild. But Blackface was not okay in the 1980s. Even in the South, it was not okay. Yeah, I can't believe that. That kind of still blows my mind that so many of those uh, politicians are involved in scandal, especially involved in blackface. That I, I'm, I'm very surprised. Yeah, especially like because a lot of the times you hear like, oh, they were just a kid or they were in high school, but like you're going through medical school, you know, like it's your medical school yearbook. At that point, like you should be concerned about your public image and care more than to put something like that in there, even if it wasn't you. And um, maybe it was, uh, you can make an argument that it was a different time, but I think that just from, um, from like an, an age and maturity perspective or standpoint, like by the time um, you're like that age, um, you should, you should know better. You just should. Yeah, I'd agree. I think, I mean, I know he apologized for it, but personally, I think he should still resign and obviously, hopefully not the next person in line if he's, 
uh, indeed guilty of sexual assault, not the next person in line, if they're also guilty of blackface, but eventually I think there should be someone who takes his place, because I don't think he should remain in office because of his past actions. Yeah, and I, and I think at the same time, like, it, it was his, um, like, criticisms of, of Republicans, and then t suddenly, like, to come out with something like this, and then to be like, it wasn't me, or, like, I'm some, like, um, like, figure of, of authority and, and moral righteousness over uh, the right, and then to, to have this sort of scandal is, is what's really, um, really bad for him, you know, because he, he claimed to be kind of this, like, um, Democratic uh, senator who was, like, morally correct and on the left, and then to have some of this come out, it's just, I, I, I mean, I'm kind of just disappointed that, that something like this would happen. I was I was shocked to find out that he was a Democrat. As well, yeah, because there was the whole thing. Like, didn't CNN put on their report that he was a Republican when they did it on the TV? Does, uh, I don't know I'm about not that. Sure I didn't see that. Let's maybe fact check before we say. Yeah, it. <laughs> no, I don't know if you're wrong. I don't know if you're wrong. But that's just what I heard. And it, it makes you wonder, like, if so there's three people just all of a sudden like have done all these horrible things, like, is my dentist also <laughs> invited? Like, that's a pretty good chance, right? Like, I'm not even, yeah. And yeah. there's so many people probably have stuff they're hiding. Yeah, like how many politicians yeah. have, have secrets that, um, if, if these three could be easily uncovered, how many politicians have secrets that could be more, like... Um, I think that's a great point, but I don't think that it's really that common, which is why it's so shocking, that two of the top three politicians in all of Virginia have such terrible skeletons in their closet. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, if you did do blackface in medical school, it could be forgiven you could come out and say, yeah, it was me. But this whole weird thing of, I'm sorry, and then the next day saying, no, it wasn't me. Um, heaven forbid he actually disclosed this when he ran for state senator, when he ran for governor, um, and said, you know, I'm a changed person. I did stuff like this in college, but now I'm fighting for black voters in the state of Virginia. Um, I mean, honor is not something we can ask for from politicians anymore, but um, it was, initially when this came out, there was a way for him to um, stand in place of governor and not completely ruin his name. But at this point, it's, it's terrible. That being said, the first week this was the national story. All the Sunday shows ran with this for two weeks, I think. Uh, it was a huge deal. 21 days after that photo has been released, nobody's talking about this. Uh, people have just accepted the fact that he's going to stay on as governor. And, quite frankly, that Lieutenant Governor Fairfax is going to stay on, and so is Attorney General Mark Herring. Because when you look at those three folks, they're all Democrats. Virginia is a, a purple state trending blue. Um, if all three of them resign, the fourth person in line would be somebody narrowly elected to a leader of one of their legislative bodies who is a Republican. So there's a political reality that nobody wants to accept here, which is that if they resign, then a Republican comes in, which is why you see people saying, oh, there has to be another way. Uh, Members of the House, National House uh, from Virginia have said, oh, there has to be another way because they don't want a Republican taking control of that state at this point. Yeah, so are, are Democrats willing to overlook these things in order to prevent um, maybe a Republican who hasn't had these scandals from getting in office? Like, is that the bipartisan state that we're living in? I think so. You know, it's like... Yeah, I, I think that's definitely an interesting thing to focus on because... That, I think that's a growing issue, uh, is that, that there's such a divide between Democrats and Republicans, like, and I th think it's a growing divide that there's just, like, I, they would not even, like, think about the idea of letting a Republican become governor. Um, and also uh, the idea that there was so much outrage in the beginning, but now the outrage has kind of died out, that the um, people tend to get really outraged about a specific thing that is like a, a fast-burning fire and then they're just like, well, this is how it is, without fixing the issue. And, go ahead. Okay, so I, I think the shocking thing is that, well, first of all, let me just, before I say this, blackface is a horrible thing. It was used in minstrel shows to depict African Americans as um, less than human, basically. It was, it's a terrible thing. Nobody should dress up in blackface. That being said, I think it's horrible um, what preceded Ralph North, what preceded the yearbook photos coming out and how little outrage that got. Basically, in the House of Delegates, uh, Delegate Kathy Tran in, um, in Virginia 
introduced a bill um, that would allow abortion to the point of birth. <laughs> Not cool. But then Ralph Northam went on a radio show for his weekly commentary in the state, um, and he said um, the interviewer gave him a situation of where a baby was born, but the mother was planning to abort or something. He, gave, uh, he said in his words that the baby would be resuscitated if that's what the mother wanted, and the discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother, um, which is horrible. But in 2019, wearing blackface in 1980 is worse than endorsing infanticide, which I think is extremely strange. Um, that being given that blackface is horrible, infanticide, I'm sure, is worse. And, and I agree. And that was the thing that I think was so shocking about when um, this whole thing was released. Because I, I, I mean, I didn't know quite the exact details like, like you had. Um, but I, I knew that he had gone um, along the lines of saying something like that. And I totally agree. To say that, like, um, to say something like that and then to, it, it, it was just, yeah. That, I feel like that now um, people kind of think that's okay um, to say something along the lines of his abortion comments and while um, it you can make a pro-life pro-choice argument but but at that point like it's really hard to make the argument that like it's just cells or it's not life or like it's not really a baby yet um, and and that was something that I was I, I think I saw it on Twitter and I was just kind of shocked and then that whole thing came out and so I, I don't think that he's the best man for the job. I think that that's very clear to, um, I feel like all of it, do you guys agree? Yeah, so more or less there, there needs to be some sort of, um, someone needs to step up, someone needs to step in. Um, unfortunately, obviously, there's the, the people who would fill those positions are also in kind of um, a, 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 a bad place as well with the scandals that they've also been embroiled in. But um, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because that was something I was thinking about too. Man, if I was that guy, I'd just resign. Like, <laughs> like, obviously, Republicans are mad about the abortion thing. I'm sure Democrats are as well. And blackface with Democrats, super mad about that as well as Republicans. Like, who likes him at this point? Like, isn't <laughs> yeah. that, like, <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's, I feel like it's clear that he's not the best man for the job. But because um, Democrats want that representative, they're willing to um, kind of sweep it under the rug a little bit. But in defense of Ralph Northam, Virginia has a one-term uh, governorship, so basically they don't run for re-election. At this point, if he resigns, when you read the Wikipedia page for Ralph Northam five years from now, you would see a uh, governor who resigned because of controversy wearing blackface. He wore blackface, in, according to him, one time, maybe two times, uh, but we know for sure he wore it once because of the Michael <laughs> Jackson thing. Yeah. Um, that was one thing in the 80s. Does he want that to define his career? If he sticks on, as we've seen in 21 days, people will slowly, slowly forget this. He'll build another, a, a larger legacy. That'll be more of a footnote on his Wikipedia page. For him, the political reality makes no sense for him to resign. At this point, he's met with some black farmers, leaders. Um, I'm sure not a, a, a large majority of black leaders would not meet with him. But um, <laughs> aside from that, I mean, he's building, he's staying on. People are slowly, slowly forgetting, and he's building a larger legacy as governor. Um, which is the only thing that kind of makes sense for him as governor. That being said, that makes sense. there are issues. Yeah. yeah, I believe he changed his um, profile picture on Twitter to him and a group of like um, African American teenagers. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good cover. Yeah, so it's like, and it was after he even made any comments about it. So I, I think his like his his narrative as a Democrat has kind of been cut short. I think people aren't going to trust him in Virginia. Um, and I think um, if the Democrats wanted to succeed there, this is really going to be, especially because you said it's kind of a purple state at the moment, um, when everyone's up for re-election again, I feel like we might see it swing the other way. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah, if people still remember it um, once it's time for re-elections. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching, and tune in next week. We'll have another very interesting topic.